you guys welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play in the last episode. We finished up our uh, adventures through Galar trying to stop all of the Dynamaxing Pokemon in all of the different gyms. Uh, we actually made it to, what is it, Baliona? I think that's what it's called. Uh, and it turns out Bede had already taken care of all of them, so we fought Bede, kicked his ass, nothing new. But uh, as it turns out, uh, Swordward and Shieldbert are actually here in Hammerlock Stadium. So we're just going to be heading straight here and uh, talking with uh, Sonia and seeing what we're supposed to be doing. So <clears throat> this will be fun. What? You're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've almost got it. Huh? That's strange. Yep, yep. I love you, Yamper. I would die for you. Oh, look. He's just zapping it. All right. Lit. Okay. I guess that was fast. What? It, it opened. Yamper, I should have known. Thanks for your help. Aw, what a cute little doggo. Those two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful. All right, well, luckily for us, I mean, we were we were already here. Uh, we went in order of every gym we fought, so we ended here at Hammerlock, so it wasn't too big a deal. But, oh boy. Oh, um, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What? Who are these freaks? It seems that you've broken the lock and rescued the, the stadiums from their perils. As expected of the champion. You, followers, give them your praise. I hate these people already, and I just met them. Condescending assholes. What's with these weirdos? They really creep me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you will still believe. We did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zemazenta. Zacian and Zemazenta saved Gal all of Galar. Huh, what a fool. We've always been revered as the resplendent descendants of the real hero. It's all because you ruffians had to go and save Galar from Eternatus, and that woman went on and wrote a whole book about it. That's right, that's right! You should be ashamed. Don't bully Sonya. I'm about to beat the shit out of these idiots. I swear to God. You said the real heroes were Pokemon. You just carelessly changed history. What does that mean we are? You dare say that our esteemed ancestors are liars? Well... I could believe that you that you two are descendants of the Galarian King. That's right. Compare the, the way things were to the way they are now. It's obvious that the old history was better. It was right. To suddenly start creating heroes left and right, it's complete rubbish. You're wrong. What I wrote was the truth. My hypothesis is that Zacian and Zamazenta have been protecting the Galar region since ancient times. Well then, if we are at an Im impasse, perhaps we should test which truth is most truthly. If things are really as you say, then even if we bombard them with Galar particles, they should remain calm and stuller. I get it. So all those sudden Dynamax Pokemon were before, from before were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon that saved us all run amok? Hmm. It seems that you are indeed capable of understanding something. My adorable younger brother is... Ugh. I hate that. Wow, that's terrible. My adorable younger brother is wrapping up the preparations above. If... You think you will let you get away with this? No, uh -huh. so you want to take the lift up? Then you'll have to defeat us. So I have to fight asshole, is what I'm hearing. <sighs> okay, well, <clears throat> um, sword word. He has Surfetch, Dewblade, um, Galissapod. He starts off with a Galissapod. So we'll start off with Peanut. That sounds like a good plan. Our team's the same as it was last episode, so I'll change it eventually. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to go with it. This time I'll show you how the opulent Pokemon I have raised this explicitly for this battle. Oh, great. Are you going to have different Pokemon then? Swordward. He starts off with Surfetch. I was wrong. But that's fine, because it's a Surfetch, and I'm not too afraid of that. What level is it? I've got pressure. We're good. Nothing to worry about. 64, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for the drill pack. Uh, I'm probably not gonna one-shot it. I only one-shot it because of a crit. Oh, look at that. That still did damage, though. Sword Stance, get the fuck out of here, Sir Fetch. Sir, get out of here. I have my own Sir Fetch. He's like 10 levels below you, but he would still kick your butt. He doesn't have Sword Stance, so he'd probably die, but he could kick your butt in spirit. That's all that matters. Anywho, uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be an easy battle. Nothing new here. Uh, what's next? Galissapod again? Uh, Bisharp, that was your other Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go into Duck and hope for the best. 
Like, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I don't think a Brick Break's in a one-shot, but it'll do enough damage to, like, do the deed. Level 64, that's terrible. Oh, I do have Sword Zance, I forgot. I'm gonna Brick Break anyways, because Iron Head's gonna hurt. Yeah, that, yeah. This will be good. Brick Break, it kills! Look at that. I'm proud of you, uh, Duck. I'm very proud of you. And he's level 54 now. He's better. Okay. Things are going pretty well, uh, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. And next up is his Dewblade. I want to go into Rocket, but I feel like this Dewblade might have Sacred Sword. And I can't go into Hades because it probably has, like... It's probably got a Steel-type move. I'm pretty sure it's a Special Attacker because it was Shadow Balling us left and right last time we fought it. So... I really don't know what it has. I'm gonna go into Kerchek. And I'm just gonna use knockoff. I think that's the best bet. I don't wanna risk I don't wanna risk Rocket getting uh just one-shotted if it has a fighting dead move. Like on the off chance it does. Cause Sacred Sword is actually, I think, a special attack. I'm pretty sure it's a special attack. Which makes no sense, but I guess, I mean, it is what it is. That was a crit. Damn it. Sword stance. Yikes. That is a yikes for me, dogs. Okay. Well. Whatever you attack me with is gonna hurt. The good thing is it's not an Aegis Slash, but I feel like if we end up fighting him, um, I got two crits in a row, look at that. But if we end up fighting him like a final time, I feel like he's gonna have an Aegis Slash uh, instead of a Dewblade, so that'd be a little scary. But anywho, he's bringing out his Galissapod and we'll just let, we'll just let Peanut take care of it and we'll be good. I'm really contemplating, um, I understand you want to get it, get it over with and lose, but why don't we enjoy this a little longer? Dude, you literally are ending this with a Galissapod. Not gonna go in your favor, like, at all, but... Okay, whatever, go off, my dude. Uh, but anywho, um, I'm thinking after this entire, like, kind of, you know, part of the, um, post-game, like, after we finish this entire kind of, uh, thing, this entire section, uh... I want to try to I want to try to level up my Pokemon, uh, get everyone up to some decent levels. Um, I've realized I've now figured uh, or found out that because you know I I actually decided to look at Cerebi and stuff. Um, Dracloak's evolution I can't remember what it's called, but the Dra Dracloak's entire evolution line his first forms I think Dreepy. The Dreepy line is the pseudo of this game. Uh, that which is actually pretty cool. They look awesome, uh, but. He actually doesn't evolve into his final evolution until, like, level 60. So we've got, like, what, three or four more levels, and then we'll evolve him. But I want to try to get our team all, you know, leveled up, do a decent level uh, decent level as we start doing, like, completing the Pokedex and stuff like that, and we'll see how it goes. And so I'm defeated. We've driven them back. Now we can head up to the roof. Oh, no. That's not good. What was that sound? Oh, well, it appears that my younger brother was given enough time. Should we head up? Probably. God. So what, did he... Did they bring Zacian and Zamazenta? Oh, well, it appears my brother was given enough time. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. I hate this guy. With a passion. Now we have to go to the roof. It's Zamazenta. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it, older brother. Looks like it came, following after this rusted shield. I've bombarded it with gar Galar particles. So why do they want to force it to, like... Stop! Samazenta's in pain! This is all because I let them get away with stealing the rusted shield. Yes, expose your true barbaric, prudish nature. And reveal it... Reveal to us exactly what who the false kings are. Oh my god. See, he deserves that, though. Neep. Ah, oh, younger brother! D don't attack me! Go into town and sow as much destruction as you can. It's trying to suppress and calm itself, but it can't control all the power. Samazenta. I was hoping we could just calm it down like we did with the others, but our opponent is a legendary Pokemon. If you're thinking about catching it, think again. I hate to admit it, but if anyone can stop it, it's going to be you, Nick. I'll keep everyone else safe from down here, so you, you don't have to worry about a thing. Just focus on calming down Samazenta. It's coming, Nick. Oh no. Is he gonna Dynamax? Oh, this will be good. Oh, he's not gonna Dynamax, okay. Zamazenta appeared. Can I catch him, though? Like, am I able to catch Zamazenta? I wanna know. Dauntless Shield. 
Defense Rose. Okay. And I've got pressure, so that's fine. Oh, listen to this music. It's level 60. Peanut's almost dead. That's never good. So you're steel you're a steel type. Uh that's not too great for me. And I don't exactly have the best team for this situation. So God, I love this music, dude. It's so good. I wanna know if I can catch Zamazenta though. Like that's my that's what I'm curious about. He's gonna iron head. Missed. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna set up some I'm gonna steel wing. Why is steel wing effective? It's a steel type. Why is it effective? Is it part fairy? Ooh. That's an interesting combination. I like that. Steel fairy? I feel like that's a thing. I think Magirna's steel fairy. So I mean is Magirna steel fairy? It's yeah it is, because it's fun it's uh it's uh its signature move is a fairy type move. Fleur Cannon, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I mean, Steel Fairy is a very cool combo. I like that. Now, I'm gonna just Home Claws a bit and start attacking it. I don't think I can catch him, but I'm gonna figure that out. Because I don't want, like, I only have one Master Ball. So, I don't know. If I'm able to catch both Zacian and Zamazenta, that's awesome. But I feel like you can only catch the one that you, like, uh, that you didn't keep the, the item for. Like, can I catch it? I guess we'll figure that out. <clears throat> I'll try to throw a Pokeball at it, and uh, we'll just see from there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So we'll figure that out. But maybe I should go into... Maybe I should go into... What's this? Face? And my defense went down. That's never good. Uh, what's my defense at? Down one. And what is Amazenta? Up one. Oh, yeah, I remember. I'm going to see how much a Steel Wing's going to do now that I'm plus two. And we're just gonna go from there. Crunch, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna have to switch out, probably. Dude, that still doesn't do that much. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into maybe Rodney. He's got better defense. Your his defense your defenses are significantly better. Uh <clears throat> peanut, but I think I should I have to switch out. Like I definitely have to switch out. Um, what are your defenses looking like, Kurchak? 146 to 165. So it's still less, but not as much less than as Rodney's is. So we're just gonna go into Kurchak. I don't want, like, I don't want to kill him, but I also don't want to throw the Pokeball. Or the Master Ball. So this will be, I guess, a battle of who can, uh. Come on. Why is. Shouldn't Woodham shouldn't grass type move be Am I missing something? Is grass no longer resisted by steel or are you not a steel type? You should be a steel type because unless you're not a fairy type. Unless you No, but no, you should be a fairy type. Maybe you but then that makes no sense because steel wing wasn't super effective. So are you still Steel Fairy? If so, then that implies that, um... Oh, it's gonna kill me. Oh, I didn't. Okay. But then that implies that... Grass no longer is resisted by Steel. Which, if that's the case, I didn't even know that. And how did I not know that? I'm gonna... We're gonna figure out this thing's type. It's not even gonna be close to what I thought it was. Because it doesn't make sense. It's definitely not a dark type. And it literally... It has to be. A, there's no way it's not a steel type. Because, like, that's just what makes sense. I'm going to try to throw a Pokeball. Um, let's throw a Love Ball. I can't throw a Pokeball, so I'm just supposed to kill you. Sorry, Zamazenta. Never mind. I just wasted all that time. Just like with the Eternatus. Because I'm dumb. But we already knew that. This is now no longer going to kill, is it? That's not going to kill anymore now. Jesus. I swallowed that. Okay, speed went down. That's never good. Um, I'm going to max potion. So I can't catch them as Enta, which means that I'm probably going to catch Zacian either way. So I was wrong. Not surprising. 
Uh, and this entire episode is literally... Now he's gonna iron defense. Okay, that makes sense. Whatever. I want to know what these things types are. Like, does grass not... Is grass no longer resisted by steel? Because as long as I... For the longest time, as far as I've known, it has been. I didn't... And, and unless that was changed all the way in Gen 6, which I don't think it was, because I think the only things that were changed for steel's, um, resistances were ghost and dark, so that means it would have either had to been changed this... this generation, 7th generation, or he's not a steel type and I'm just an idiot. And he just, for some reason, is... then he's also not a fairy type. But then he's something that resists dark, which would be another dark type. Kurtek's learning Boom Burst. Interesting. Your special attack isn't that great, Kurtek, I'm gonna be honest with you. However, Boom Burst is a very cool attack for you, uh, considering you're a drummer, but I'm not gonna teach it to you. So, there we go. All right. I can't. I calmed you down, Zamazenta. Zamazenta, are you all right? Hop, I want you to catch Zamazenta, please. If you could. Oh my god. Hop, watch out! I'm gonna try to pet him. Oh no, Zacian's gonna kick ass, I guess. Hello. Hi, Zacian. How's it going? Zacian! Are they trying to calm each other down? Like, are they, what are they talking about? Both? Thanks for saving me, Zacian. Oh, there goes, there goes Amazenta. That makes me sad. Looks like it still can't control all that power. I don't like this, Nick. Not one bit. I'm going after Zamazenta. That's what you get, asshole. Shieldberg, get the fuck out of here. Your stupid hair. And this belongs to Zamazenta, not you. Ugh. Hop took back the rusted shield, as he should. Now punch him, damn it. I really would have enjoyed that. That would have been a little funny. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Hi. He's like He's like, get fucked, my dude. P please, don't hurt my younger brother. Zacian. Hi. Zacian stares into your eyes. Okay. What? Wait a minute. It's time. As expected of the champion. You took complete control of the situation. Plus, it looks like that Pokemon is waiting for you. It's time. This is it. I should just catch him with, with the, um... The Master Ball, right? I don't have enough Pokeballs to even try this bullshit. I forgot I got a Beast Ball. I don't know why. I don't, why would I try to catch any Pokemon with a Beast Ball in this game? That's just dumb. I'd be stupid to do that. Anywho. Go. I'm just gonna chuck the- I'm just gonna chuck the Master Ball. There's really no other reason. Like, there's no reason not to. Hi. Zacian gives you a calm look. Ready the Rusted Sword to catch Zacian? Yes. Hi. Dude, these legendaries are amazing. Zacian appeared. Look at him. He's in his shield form. Sword form. Rusted sword. I think I said rusted shield because I'm dumb. But that's nothing new. Hi. Zacian is an intense look in its eye. Interp intrepid sword. Well, that's not good. Okay. So... I'm just gonna go for... I want Behemoth Blade. Yikes. That's not gonna go too well. I should resist this if it's... I do resist it. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. That was a crit. That was a crit, everyone. That crit mattered. Oh god, he swallowed it. I want to give him a battle. <clears throat> Worthy of a champion. So I'm not gonna catch him with the Master Ball yet. Until I absolutely have to. Until then, I'm gonna let... Unfortunately, I'm gonna let Peanut get his... Oh no, I've made a mistake. He's plus three now. All right, Master master Ball it is. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. I have, um... <clears throat> I have most definitely made errors in my judgment. So let's just do that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Here we go. All right, Zacian's been caught. I'm sorry for the lackluster battle, Zacian, but... You're about to sweep my entire team, so I had to do it. Look at that, everyone got a level up except for Kritchuk. But that's okay. Mr. Duck wants to learn Leaf Blade? Fuck yeah! I don't know what to get rid of. Probably Defog. I don't really need Defog at this point, so it's no big deal. No biggie, am I right, boys? 
when Leaf Blade. That could be very useful to us, so. And it has a high crit ratio. I wish he had, uh, your pure fairy. So why did... So then why did... I'm confused. Why did he not... Why was it... Why was Steel Wing neutral? Hero of many battles. Known as a legendary hero, this Pokemon absorbs metal particles, transforming them into a weapon he uses as a battle. Yes, gives Zacian a nickname. Oh my god. Um, I'll name him after my doggo. My other doggo, since I already have Walt. <laughs> Henry can be... <laughs> Henry can be my, um... I want to see your summary. <laughs> You're holding the rusted sword. It's said that the hero used... This sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. Look at that! Good lord! Intrep Intrepid sword. Boosts the Pokemon's attack stat when the Pokemon enters battle. He has Sacred Sword, Sword Sands, Iron Head, and Crunch. So I'm assuming <clears throat> when it actually has um, the shield, Iron Head turns into its other its attack its other attack. Sacred Sword's a special attack, right? No, it is physical. I'm dumb. Why did I think it was special? I could have sworn it was. I could have sworn it was an Umber Moon. Who knows? I'm dumb though. Send to the box. Sorry, uh, Henry. Yes. Place, uh, send you to the box with the sword. Alright, look at that. Good work, everyone. Wow, brilliant! Seems like you've been recognized by real royalty. Get the fuck away from me. Don't even try to apologize, you assholes. Ah. What a sublime battle. We were so preoccupied with fussing over the, who the new king was. How terribly uncouth like. Uncouth? I, I still can't say that word. Hey, you, spiky head. Why should I go expecting those two to start learning some manners now? My older brother and I will atone for our crimes. Please escort us to the appropriate place. If you really, if you really want to atone, what's with that posh superior attitude? No, oh, whatever. Nick, I think I understand why you became the champion. But... Please don't go calling me anymore. Seems like I'm only getting called out when you're in some sticky situation. Oh, thanks for the rare elite card. I appreciate you. Professor Sonia, I can't ask you to forgive me, but I am truly sorry for deceiving you. I was really hurt at first, but I've rallied. Rallied? Rallied? I don't know. Thank, thanks to you, I ended up learning quite a bit. Ah, that came off a bit more sarcastic than I thought it would. <laughs> well, please continue to do your best as a professor. Okay, bye. Righto! I've, we stopped them from causing any harm. Still, I hope Sam Asenta's okay. Beep, beep, beep. Nick, it's your Rotom phone. Probably Hop, I reckon. Hello, Nick? I was just... Whoa, hey, calm down! Did he catch it? <laughs> I suppose you heard that. Yeah, I've got Sam Asenta here with me. Are you okay? Sam Asenta started going crazy, so things have been better. But I'm hanging in there. I could sure use your help, though. Get over here as quick as you can, would you? I'll be waiting for you in the heart of Slumbering Weld. He sure sounds like he's got his hands full. Guess same things never change. What? Even if it's poke in its Pokeball, Zacian seems worried about its partner. We should go to the Slumbering Weld and see how Hop and Zamazenta are doing. I could probably uh, add Henry to the team, then, in that case. Henry! My lovely doggo. Um, who do I want to take off the team? Sorry, Hades. And then we'll put, we'll put Henry up front. That's such a great name. Just for a, a Zacian. That's like amazing. I think I'm really creative with everything I choose to do. But, you know, that's just me. Anywho, let's go back to Postwick. I'm going to go talk to my mother. Get myself healed. And then we'll head into the Slumbering Weld. Uh, deal with that. And probably end the episode. So, you know, things are going to be going that way. I left my house on accident. Okay. Mummy! Please help me. Hi. I like how my mom said, like, Zacian seems tired. Not completely just not even thinking about the fact that, like, you know, I quite literally have a legendary Pokemon in my, you know, party. She doesn't even really care. My mom doesn't care. She's like, yeah, normal day. Nothing new. You know, being a mother and all that. Hi, Sonia. Should I talk to you? Want me to show you to the center of the woods where Hop is waiting? Yeah, okay. Oh, she can just take me straight to that. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, look, same as Enter. Are we about to fight Hop? Uh, Hop has Amazenta and I have Zacian, because that'd be amazing. And if that's the case, I guess this is the team I'm going in with, so... Could be worse. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Holy shit, he's still evil. There, there. Everything's alright. Oh no, Samazenta. Don't do this to us. You don't have to lose control. You can manage this. I know you can. You're the true hero protected the Gala region, after all. Oh, oh. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh, got everything under control? See? I knew you could do it, champ. Up, you look a fright. You two made it. And yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm down Zamazenta, so... <sighs> Rushing in and trying to calm a legendary hero head-on is was awful reckless. Work. Hop, you're amazing. Let me make Hop feel better. Y you think? I'm pretty chuffed to hear that from you of all people, Nick. I will die telling Hop how amazing he is. I will... If that will make him happy, I will do it. What? Wait, really? Y you're sure about this? What does Zamazenta say? That he thinks I'm worthy of it. That it'll become my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what it's what it that was in anyway. Wait, seriously? That's totally crazy. Is it is it really okay? Yes. Please, hop, do it. We haven't had a rival with a legendary Pokemon in ages. N doesn't count. So we have never had that. Alright, here I go then. Perfect. This will make me happy. Oh. Look, you perfected. His ball throwing skill, and he got his in a Pokeball. I feel like Hop is just a hundred thousand times better than me, because he caught his Zamazenta in a Pokeball. Took me a goddamn Master Ball after he decided to fucking sword dance me. You really are something. I don't quite see anything like that in myself yet. But thanks for your help. To your help, I'm starting to. Nick, I've got a favor to ask. Though I hate to look like I'm copying that posture beat. Still, I want another battle against you. Everything started right here. I'm not sure. What? Okay. In the slumbering weld. Oh, yeah, no, he's right. Alright. Oh my god, Hop. I love Hop. He's my favorite. He's the most amazing character in this entire game. Other than Marnie. But that's besides the point. Um, is this really the squad that I should have for this battle? I really don't think it is. Uh, we're gonna... I'm not bringing Eternatus, because that's just cheating. That's just messed up. Um, who's the squad I should have for this battle? I feel like there's definitely a different one I should have. Um, I'm gonna switch Rocket out for uh, Iris, and then I think that's it. I think that's what we should stick with. All right. Well, I guess this is it. Take on Hop one more time. This will be a proper battle, Nick. You sure you're ready for me? All right, let's go. Please start off with Zamazenta, because I'm starting off with Zacian. Please. He started off with Double. This is really awkward. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, holy shit. Let's do it, Nick. Don't hold anything back. I'm going to feel really bad if he doesn't use Amazenta in this battle. Level 69, I'm fucked. Henry, I'm going to need you to sweep. I need to see your type real quick. Your fairy steel. I knew it. I knew it! Okay. So that just means that, you know, grass is no longer uh, resisted by what you call it. But the fact that Double is level 69 is terrifying to me. So I'm gonna just Sword Stance and set up. And, uh, do that. Because my team is very low level in comparison, and that scares me. Double Edge. Oh boy. This battle's gonna go really well. I think we're gonna just have, uh, you know, Henry just sweep in. So. This is it. This is how it ends. This is how this series ends, everyone. Not series, but this is how this is how like the the main part of the post game. I'm assuming. I'm assuming this is kind of like the only real post game. Like if that's the case, that does kind of suck. But my goal was always to surpass Lee, but he's not the champion anymore. I'm not sure what my goal is now. Oh, oh. I hope that you're happy. I hope that you will find your own happiness now. Anywho, what was I talking about? Oh. Uh, I think this is kind of like the only post-game stuff, and if that's the case, that's perfectly fine by me. There could very well be a lot more, like, actual post-game story, but I guess we'll figure that out. You and Sonya followed your own paths. I was the only one left behind in trying to catch up. I know. I, trust me, if I could have let Hop win, I would have. Pinturin. Pinturin. Pinurchin. Pinkurchin. That's what your name is. I'm gonna do Sacred Sword again. Let's just, let's just keep the streak going. Look at that. 
Pincurchin looks like uh, Fumiku's like little weird cousin. If I'm being honest with you guys. What's next? Inteleon. I'll switch down to Kurtek for this. Definitely. Even though I'm probably gonna be like eight levels below it, this is it. This has to happen. This is where it started. You know? But then when I went around saving Pokemon alongside you and Pierce, and I realized that I could help other people. Oh. Italian's level 70, that's what I thought. This thing probably has a nice time move. So, Ice Beam. Well, I'm dead. Kurtak. That's a yikes, dog. Oh boy, okay. Well, your speed's gonna get lowered. I don't think it's lowered enough for... Oh, I won, okay. I one shot did it, that's fine. So he's got two Pokemon left. Zamazenta. And, you know, Corviknight, probably? Corviknight, yep. All right. Um, I'm gonna go into my own Corviknight, and then my own Corviknight have a little bit of fun against his Corviknight, as I Home Claws and Power Strip it to death. Because that's the best weapon. Blast! You really got me with that one, but battling you sure is fun, Nick. No. Pop's, like, Pop's actually happy now. And that's the part that makes me, that's, like, my favorite part of this, like, entire, this entire, like, character arc that Hop has gone through is amazing. And I genuinely, like, really love it. And I feel like it's, like, the first actual, you know, real character art that, like, a, a character has actually had in this game. And that's what makes me happy, you know? Like, in the, like, Hop, Hop went from being, like, in the shadow of his brother to in the shadow of his best friend. That really helps me, actually, a lot. Um, Hop, thanks for that to now he's like kind of accepted himself as a person, and that just makes me happy. Oh, yikes, okay. This isn't going too well. Hop, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make you, you know, talk highly of you and you're kicking my butt, and it's really not helping. So, oh, and you missed, okay. I'm just gonna power trip, because that'll do some damage. All right. Good work, everyone. Putting in the work, as usual. And uh, I'm pretty happy. I don't know, I, I personally, I think Hop's my favorite rival, like, officially. I love him. I like his character arc. He's just a great person in general. His personality is great. His personality just makes me happy. He, he's just so similar to Barry, but then also goes farther, like, far beyond Barry, because he actually has, like, some good character development throughout the entire game. And he does end up with Zamazenta. Well, in that case, we're going to have to fight with Henry and uh, see how things go. So, this will be fun. See how it goes. I'm damaged, so he has a bit of an advantage. I want to see which one of us comes out at the victor, and yet I also don't want this battle to end. That's kind of strange feeling I'm having. You feel it too, don't you, Nick? Not really. Fuck anyone who says that. I knew you must. It's kind of embarrassing, but uh, right then, laugh or cry all you want, but this is it. All right. Anybody who says not really is an asshole, and I hate them. Intrepid Sword, my attack goes up, and his Dauntless Shield raises his defense. Okay. I'm gonna go for my Behemoth Blade. Oh, it's resist. What? Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Why is it resistant? Are you just a pure Steel type? Why is this super effective? Does it not understand the... I'm gonna go for Behemoth Shield anyways. If it's resistant, then that's weird because he's just a pure Steel type, but if... Sacred Sword's not very effective. What is, so is Zamazenta a different type, then? Behemoth Bash. Ooh. That just means Zamazenta is a different type. Because he resists both... Both Sacred Sword and... Uh... The whatever my attack is. Behemoth Blade. And his attack was neutral to me. So what is Zamazenta's type? Are they two completely different types? Because that's awesome. But, I'm gonna find that out now. Samazento, what did you think? I'm curious now. Oh, Samazento's a fighting type. Okay. Fighting steel. That makes sense. So, I should go for Sacred Sword. And his Behemoth Bash is a fighting type move, then. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Alright, well that makes sense, then. But then why was... Oh, because it... Okay. Um... Super effective. Okay, so Sacred Sword is super effective. So... Alright, there we go. Problem solved, then. Behemoth Bash. 
gonna do some damage. Okay, so we've got Fighting Steel and Fairy Steel, which makes sense. So, but that does give Zacian the advantage over Zamazenta. Because Zacian has Sacred Sword, while Zamazenta just has his uh, Behemoth Bash. Is that what it was called? Behemoth Bash? But, uh... I mean, I still love both legendaries, either way. I might like Zacian a bit more than Zamazenta. But, I do love Zamazenta. So, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. Gen 8, and this sounds messed up, Gen, Gen 8 just completely rewrites my entire list of favorite everything about Pokemon. Everything I love about Pokemon has been, like, flipped on its head since Sword and Shield. And I, again, can't tell if it's just because I've been so hyped about playing the game for the first time, but I genuinely enjoy a lot about this game. Pokemon-wise, you know, in terms of this generation in general, in terms of the characters, there's just a lot of things that get bumped down on my list. Like, from this point on, in terms of, like, list of favorite thing, different things. And it's just, you know, it is what it is. Thanks, you and Lee. I'll keep on getting stronger. I know it. That's all that matters, all. As long as you're getting stronger. Wow. That's our greatest champion for you. You really are strong, Nick. But getting beat this time felt a bit different. I may have lost, but I feel great. You know what, Nick? I think I found a dream of my own. I want to be someone who can help out Pokemon that are in trouble, wherever they are. I think I want to become a Pokemon professor. I started thinking I might want... I might when we were going around all the stadiums to help the Pokemon that were running out of control. I know I don't know enough about Pokemon yet, and I've got no experience for this sort of thing, but I'm going to study and learn a whole lot. And someday, I'll become the sort of professor that you, that you, Nick, and you, Sonya, well, the sort that you would be proud, proud to know. I'm going to take a different path than you and Lee are taking, Nick, but I'll still always think of you as my true rival. There's nothing I'd like better. Are we going to shake hands? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna start just po tears pouring, pouring down my face. Same here. You're, we'll always be rivals, you and me. Ah, that's not fair. You two are so young and cute. I'm tearing up. Sonia, getting a bit weepy in your old age, eh? What? I'm still young and super energetic. Say, ha, huh? fancy on becoming my assistant at the lab? What? I've got all the books and data on Pokemon you could ever want. Since you want to be a professor someday, I'll oversee your studies. Then I'll definitely want to, only... You sure I can really be any help to you? Of course. Mind you, it'll be a lot of work. Work's really been piling up since I lost my first assistant. Wait, so that you... So what you really mean is that you're offering me the position to help yourself out. Nah, fine. I'll still do the... Do a bang-up job. You'll be... You'll have my back too, right, Nick? I'll throw your lead card. Yes. Oh my god. The entourage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 now. That certainly has a, was a splendid battle and a refreshing back, back and forth, eh, what? Whoa, 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 now. That really touched my heart. Huh? Swordward and Shieldbert with Piers? And even Lee? What are you lot doing here? No need to be so noise noisemakery, young lady. We've come to meet the, with the young Master Nick. What? They didn't get any, the chance to properly apologize yet. And I'm here to keep an eye on them. They did technically descend from the original Kings of Galar, after all. Seems you lot have been been up to all sorts of things while I was stuck in the Rose Tower trying to take care of the mess the chairman left behind. You have no idea. These two, those two were forcing Pokemon to Dynamax all over the place. And for that, we really were really, truly sorry. Take look at our sa sorriness. We thought only of ourselves and brought harm to innocent, innocent Pokemon. We have truly caused a large amount of trouble. Master Nick, you helped us even though we did those awful things. You are so worthy of the throne, you could say that it's Dynamax size or amount of worthiness. I, I already told you to. Zacian and Zamazenta are the real royalty. Incorrect. We have abdicated the title to him. There are no other rulers but Nick. Hmm. Now that I look closely, you absolutely do have the air of the, a celebrity. Well, fancy that. I think you've grown on them, Nick. Oh dear, reluctantly, I, I'm afraid you, we two must be away. Our tour to apologize to those we've troubled awaits. Well then, goodbye. Boy. Don't go running off on your own. Ha! Huh. What? Just so you know, I saw your Pokemon battle against Champion Nick. You sure have gotten strong. You were so good, I nearly sent out my Charizard without thinking, wanting to join in on the fun. It seems like you've found your own path to walk in life, Hawk. Huh? 
As your older brother? No. As your rival? You have my full support. I... I do? I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is it. This is the sequel we need. We're gonna need a sequel. Oh, well, Leon gave you some pretty high praise. It looks... You look like Meowth's got your tongue, huh? Ah, say it, Sonia. I do not. <laughs> Alright, I guess we should get going, too. Right, then let's race to see who gets back home first. I'm gonna cry. This entire... This entire game is amazing. It makes... The end. So that's the real end. So then... I'm happy. So technically, that's the end of the entire game. So technically, we weren't, weren't at the post-game, because now we just got hit with the, the end. So, I mean, there's that. Venture across the gallery region to find many more Pokemon to battle and catch. The Battle Tower in Winden is open, too. It's filled with trainers stronger than those you've faced up until now. Challenge them if you dare. Well, then, I guess that's... I guess we're officially at the post-game, then. I guess this is the official post-game. Because, uh... Obviously... Obviously, we were meant to go catch Zacian before. So, I guess that's that's very interesting because this game didn't end, didn't really end with the champion battle. That wasn't the end of this this game. The end of this game was catching the legendary after, which I kind of like that a little more. If I'm being honest with you guys, I think, I think that if you're going to catch the legendary, the catching the legendary should be after the champion. Just because it makes it lets it makes the Elite Four a little more fair. You're not getting like a Pokemon that's like, you know, high, way higher level than the Elite Four in most games. Like you know, Giratina, like Giratina, Palkia, and Dialga, are usually like, are they? They're like on par with Cynthia's Pokemon. And like you know, you can go in Emerald, you can go catch Rayquaza, uh, and he's level seventy. And what Steven's Ace is like level in like the fifties or early sixties. Or no, not not Steven. Um, what's his face? Uh, Wallace? Yeah, Wallace. So like, I don't know. I like not catching. I, not, I like not the idea of not catching the legendary until after you become champion, and that being like the official end of the game. And I think that was a good like official ending for this game. So we're at the post game now. It's great. Um, my review of this game, main game wise, I'm definitely like the worst person you could ask a review out of. Because I want to give this game a 10 out of 10 entirely. Um, I see its flaws, obviously. But I think I think the positive outweighs the negative. Because for me, the only real flaws with this game are the lack of the national decks, which I understand that. Uh, it's not something that bothers me all that much. But like the, po the new Pokemon we have make up for it. They're amazing. Um, the characters are great. I think, I think overall, designs are great for Pokemon. Um, personality and characters, like, they're all just great. I think they're all great. Nobody's, there's no boring character in this game. Uh, so, I kind of like it. Um, I like the character development different characters get. Sonya goes from just being an assistant to becoming the full-on professor of this, this region. Pop goes from, you know, wanting to prove himself to his brother to then wanting to become the champion. Eventually having to deal with the fact that he didn't become champion. And then, you know, decides that he ha he knows what he wants to do for his own life. He's going to go down a different path from, like, his own rival and his, you know, brother. And he's, you know, he's made his decisions. That's amazing. I love that. If we don't get a sequel game to this um, generation, I'm going to be pissed. I know it's not going to happen because, well, I mean, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, because, let's be honest, next year and or the year after that, we're either getting, you know, a third game, a sequel game, or Gen 4 Remix. That's what I think we're going to get. Now, it is very possible that we'll get three ga uh, three different releases throughout this entire generation. Because we did get, for Gen 7, we did get Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and then Let's Go. And then we got into Gen 8. So this could very well be Gen 8, um... You know, Sword and Shield, third game and or sequel game, and then Gen 8, or Gen 4 remakes, or Gen 4 remakes, then third game or sequel game. But who knows? I'm speculating. Um, in theory, it makes more sense because, like, you know, Emerald came out the same year as Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, 
Hard Gold and Soul Silver came out a year, two years after Platinum, and then you know uh, X and Y never got Z, never got you know any sequel games. But then Oros came out a year after, so you know I guess we'll see. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I love Generation Eight. I adore it, and I adore all the Pokemon. I adore all the characters. I adore the entire Galar region in general. I love the music. I love the battling. I love Dynamaxing. I like Gigantamaxing. I think it all works really well. And I don't know. I guess there's just a lot in this game I've seen that I love. And we've got a lot more to explore in the official post game. So from the rest of from the rest of the point on for this entire series, we're going to be spending episodes, you know, catching Pokemon, filling up our Pokedex, doing stuff like that and then maybe doing the Battle Tower as well. And I feel like that's really all we can do for this series. I'm not going to 100% say that we're gonna fully complete the Pokedex in this, like, by the end of the series, because that's probably never gonna happen. Um, if we do, then I would love for that to be something we do as a live series, because that would be awesome. But right now, you know, with my schedule, live series is not a thing. It's not gonna work, so we'll figure it out. Um, I would love to do a live series of just completing the Pokedex with you guys. For now, we're going to have to stick with the recording. But, you know, rambling over, uh, we're going to end the episode here, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, going through Sword and Shield with me. Uh, if you guys aren't going to be sticking around for the post game, that's perfectly fine. I understand. For those of you who are, uh, I can't wait to see uh, what we have left. But for those of you who are not going to be continuing the rest of this Let's Play series, thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed... Make sure you do smash that like button and follow me on my You subscribe and get deposited right in that PC party. Share with your friends, follow on Twitter, PC, by Master, join the Discord, link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am PC Bell Master, and I will see you guys next time.